Hey everybody, it's Thomas Rowley. Welcome back to more Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we got here to Pallet Town. Um, not Pallet Town, Meridian City. And today, we are going to go back to Pallet Town to deliver that parcel that we got from Pokemon. So, uh, in this episode, I'm hoping to, um... Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm hoping to, uh, get through Route 2 and Meridian Forest. Get through a part of Meridian Forest. And, uh, yeah. I'm really tired and still sick, so if I sound really bad, that's why. So we're back here in Pallet Town and let's go visit Professor Oak. Give him this parcel. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. Okay, we'll deli the deliver your parcel. Happy I will make that friend. Yeah, um, I know this. If you're fucking that through Professor Rook, yay! Uh, okay. And I'm, no, I'm also recording this at 10.30 at night, so... <laughs> smart person. Yeah, whatever, just a minute you're old. I get it. Okay, yeah, shut up, Gary. <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering where well, we get the running shoes, we don't get that until we defeat Brock in the f after the first year, so it's gonna be a while. Well, that was fantastic. I just I couldn't escape from a lot of Pokemon, and my Bulbasaur is almost dead. So, fan freaking testing. <sighs> and we're back. So, um, if you want to download this program so you can get Game Boy Advance games, you uh, can uh, get the Visual Boy Advance. There's a website for it. You get, like, all the old Pokemon games on the Game Boy Advance and all that, so it's pretty cool. We can buy things from Pokemon. Okay. I want to buy Nine. I prefer. I like to be over the so don't judge me in the comments. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, now if you go up here, this guy, he's had his coffee and he's a lot nicer now. And this is the really noobish way to show you how to catch Pokemon. It's really annoying. So if you've played any Pokemon game before, you know what to do. And, oh man, dude. <laughs> what? Yeah, this is just a really noobie explanation. So, uh, yeah, um, I don't really have much to talk about. <laughs> and wow, old man caught the weedle. It's really funny, he's just lying down and it's like a random weedle pops out of the middle of the street. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, and the TGTV gives you and it tells you stuff that you don't know. Yeah, that's if you're a complete noob. Okay, and ons are out too. I'm, I'm actually gonna get catch a Pidgey on this route, and I'm actually gonna train enough screen for it. If I can actually find something now, okay. Then. Oh my God, so many rabbits! Wow, it's, this is what happened to me earlier. Okay, I'm good. That's 
quick. Oh my god, so good. I should be cut until I find a picture, okay? Well, it's about time. About actually, five minutes later. It shouldn't take that long. Okay, that should be actually fine again. Then, if I can move. Um, no, don't Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. I know people think Pidgey isn't the best flying type Pokemon you can get in this game, but I still like using it, I don't know why. I'm gonna level this up. up. Nickname it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna level this guy off, um, up off camera, so I'll see you guys soon. Okay, we are back. I got my Pokemon up to level 10. That's after about 30 minutes of training. So yeah, hopefully we can just sweep through really fast. I'm actually gonna speed this up. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Got a free antidote right there. There is actually a Pokemon I want to catch in here, so I'm gonna cut until I find that. <laughs> and I finally found it! Um, yeah, so I'm going to end the video here because it took me two hours to find this. Level 6. So yeah, and um, Pidgey got up a couple of levels too. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!